All right, what is up, guys? King Barlow here, and I am back with episode 47. And the quest I decided to do this time is Hollywood U. And this is actually another game, I think, made by Pixelberry. And it's called Hollywood U, but let's go ahead on and do this quest. Want to check out the college fair? A long row of booths scratches across campus, each one manned by well-dressed students representing their colleges. Awesome! The guy from Ohio State seemed impressed that I'm a student athlete, and he gave me a free pen. The recruiter from Brown really liked the photos of my art I showed her on my phone, and she gave me a free t-shirt. Sounds like I'd better go check out some booths for, for the free stuff alone. OMG. You guys, I knew some good colleges would be here, but look over there. What one is it? Harvard? Oxford? The Sub Suborny? No, it's Hollywood U. It's this amazing college in Los Angeles where you learn how to be a star. Pretty much everyone who's ever been famous went to college there. The recruiter for Hollywood U leans out of the, his booth and motions you over. My ears are burning. Sounds like you guys have heard of us. Here's my card. Ethan Blake. Agent. Let's get rich together. I can't believe you actually go to Hollywood U. Literally, all of my celebrity crushes went there. Good to hear, of course. Oh, snap. Good to hear. Of course, it takes more than the looks to make it at Hollywood U. You've got to have that it factor. The fundamental gravity that draws other people to you. That sounds like Dennis. Before Dennis came along, this place was just a vacant lot. And look at it now. You made all this happen, Dennis? Very interesting. Everyone comes to Hollywood U with a dream. What yours? If I went to Hollywood U, I'd be... I wouldn't be a movie star because I'd be directing that sketch. I thought so. It seems like you run this school, so I'm sure you could also run a movie set. Dennis just heard about a potential college Hollywood U. So tell me, Dennis, what are your college plans? I never really thought about it. I've, I've, been, uh, I've been so focused on high school. You know, it's never too early to start thinking about the future. I right, suddenly a limo pulls up and a girl with pink hair jumps out. She runs up to you and Ethan. Lisa? Lisa? Uh, hair and makeup always take forever. Anyways, hi everyone. I hope Ethan wasn't boring you into, com into comas about agent stuff like planning in the future. You realize planning isn't exclusive, to isn't exclusive to agents, right? What else? Was he boring you? Be honest. Nah, Ethan seems cool by me. Between the suit and the swagger, he's like a walking issue of Maxim. Ethan's alright, but do you really want to be an agent like him? Or would you rather be a pop star like me? O-M-G. I thought I recognized you. You are Lisa Valentine. But wait, I thought you were in that kid show Lisa Mermaid. Now you look different. Lisa Mermaid was the old me. I'm all grown up now. Ashley, I'm doing a show later tonight. Take some tickets and check it out. Good idea, Lisa. You guys should come. And let me know if you want to hear more about our university. Just wait until you hear my new song. Alright guys, let's do this. That night at Lisa's concert. I can't wait to hear Lisa's new song. I used to wake up early every Saturday to watch Lisa Mermaid. She was so cute. As Lisa gets on stage, fireworks shoot out all around her and men in skin tight bodysuits surround her. Those suits don't leave much to, to the imagination. Oh, whoa. This is, inter this is interesting. A pulsing bass line pumps from the speakers and Lisa starts to sing. Now I'm walking on the shore. I'm not a mermaid anymore. Woo! It's totally a metaphor. Her drummer is amazing. Listen to those fills. I have to admit, it's a pretty catchy song. As Lisa begins her next song, someone taps you on the shoulder. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Dennis just checked out an awesome concert. What's your favorite band? So, impressed yet? It's definitely something we don't see around here every day, but I'm not a star like Lisa Valentine. Are you sure there's really a place for someone like me at Hollywood U? Of course, no one starts out as a world's famous celebrity, but Hollywood U can help you become one. Does that sound like something that might interest you? Maybe. Can I ask one follow-up question? Anything. What celebrities do you know? What's the craziest thing you've done in Hollywood? Are you single? I am not on that gay jump. Well, I can't tell you all of my stories. But I did once sing karaoke with Taylor Swift and Katy Perry before they started fighting. And I once played a pickup basketball game with the cast of Guardians of the Galaxy. That sounds pretty great. I'm sensing there's a butt coming up. It's just, a college like Hollywood U 
How much does it cost to go there? He then hands you a packet of information which includes the tuition cost. I don't have that. I don't have that many coins. I know it's expensive, but trust me, it's worth every penny. I have to think about it. Thinking about the future, you walk home from the concert where you find a letter sitting on your doorstep. Oh, it's now it said who would send me this? Send me a letter. Looking closely, you realize the letter is addressed to you. Who sends letters these days? You pick up the letter and open it. Dear Dennis, you don't know me, but I know you. I've been impressed with everything you've done in high school. Given the opportunity, I think you could change the world. Consider the enclosed check and investment in your future. Sincerely, sincerely the benefactor. And that don't reminds me of Teen Wolf, the benefactor. <laughs> Heck no. Nah. This, this is enough money to pay for Hollywood U. A mysterious benefactor is offering to pay for Dennis to go to college. Can Dennis afford to say no? Interested in finding out more about Ethan, Lisa, and Dennis's further adventures? And what about the mysterious benefactor? If you want in, download Hollywood U from the creators of High School Story. Available now. Warning, Hollywood U deals with more mature content than High School Story, like drinking and some swearing. Check it out. I'll check it out later. Alright guys, seems like that is it for episode 47. Hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. I know this episode was short, but uh, support your boy. Support your boy, okay? Hit that thumbs up button. I will see you guys in episode 48. So with that being said, peace out.